Join Rhett today as the winds pick up speed and the storms roll in and we learn all about tornadoes. Have you ever seen a real tornado before? How about a toy tornado? Come check out Rhett's as he uses it to describe how tornadoes form. How does a tornado form? Cold air. Warm air and cold air, that's right, they collide. And what happens? The wind changes and it collects all the air from the thunderstorm and stuff, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And then it starts spinning and spinning and spinning and collecting all that air. And what happens? What can a, th what can a tornado do? Chickens. It collects chickens? Yes. What else can it collect? Eggs. Eggs? Is that an egg from Nana's chickens? Nana and Papa's chickens? That's right, it can collect chickens and cows. It can destroy a whole barn. Can it pick up people? Uh, yes. Yeah, it can even pick up trucks. Oh, it stopped. And when it stops, you go outside and what happens? You look all around and you see all the destruction it left behind. And here it comes again. It's picking back up. It's getting all that wind. Do you know what another name for a tornado is? What's that? Twister. Twister. That's right. Because why? My tornado spins That's right. It spins around or it twists like that, huh? Yes. It's in a funnel shape. That is so cool. Tornadoes are really powerful, aren't they? Huh. Yep. A tornado is an incredible force of nature that is quite destructive. But how do they form? When warm, moist air collides with cool, dry air, they meet, and this causes a change in wind direction and wind speed. Tornadoes can last a few minutes to several hours. Tornadoes are really fast swirling tubes of air that form a funnel. They reach from the ground to the clouds above. They can range in size and speed. Some can travel as fast as 300 miles per hour. Tornadoes are quite destructive. They can uproot trees, destroy large buildings, and throw vehicles hundreds of yards away. Did you know you can make your own tornado at home? Check this out. Plastic bottle. Mm -mm. Yeah, you do need the lid. And you need dish soap, mm -hmm. and you need food coloring. Mm -hmm. And you can also use glitter, but we don't have any today. I got the bottle filled to the top, about two inches left. So we'll have a little bit of air at the top. And we're gonna add a little bit of dish soap. All right. Now, how about some drops of some food coloring? Yeah. All right, and then you're gonna spin it really fast. Yes. And we're gonna have a tornado. Okay. All right, let's let's add a few drops of food coloring. Oh, that's pretty. That's blue. I like that. Do you? Yes, ma'am. All right, let's put the top on it and let's okay. shake it up and make a tornado. All right, here's what you gotta do. You gotta turn it upside down and turn it. In a circle. Can you turn it really fast in a circle? <laughs> Don't squeeze it too hard. It might pop the top off. Let's see if I can spin it around really fast and we can get that funnel cloud going. Let's see. Do you see a funnel cloud in there yet? Hmm. Spin, 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 spin. All right, let's see. There it goes. Did you see it? Look at it. Cool. All right, we're gonna try one more time. Let's try one more time. Let's see, gotta shake it really fast in a circle. We gotta make a funnel shape. That's right, we gotta go really fast. All right, let's get a good close look at it. Is it gonna work? Let's yes. look. Did it work, Red? It did work, I can see it spinning. That is really cool. So maybe next time we'll use a really clear bottle that doesn't have any ridges on it. I don't know. We'll be able to see it better. What did you think about that tornado? Was that really cool? Yes. The safest place to be during a tornado is an underground basement or cellar. If you do not have an underground basement or cellar, find the nearest bathroom or closet with no windows on the first floor of the building or home you're in. Thanks for joining Rhett today as we explore tornadoes. Hit like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more learning and fun.